So here it is complete. The Tamiya 148 scale BF109G6 in Swiss markings. Okay, so basically um, I didn't really build it right out of the box. I did add a few things. So first of all, since I did the Swiss markings, I needed a decal set for that. And I went with the uh, cutting edge one um, decal set, Swiss BF109s, CED 48040. And that came with markings for quite a few aircraft, but it had the one, the particular one I wanted, which is J704, which had the most unique um, color scheme out of the lot. I also used DEF model BF109 G6 wheel set. And the reason I went with those is because they had the uh, slight bit of sag to them. from the weight of the aircraft. And then in order to uh, have a little bit better exhaust, um, I went with uh, Quick Boost BF109 G6 exhaust 148 scale. Other than that, everything was from the box. So as far as the kit goes, um, Typical newer Tamiya kit. It went together really well. Uh, no problems with fit of anything. It just, it really worked well. And I was really stoked with it. Now, one of the things that is uh, unique with this BF109 is the fact that you can either pose it with closed canopies or canopies, closed cowlings or open. And these are the open parts here. And I'm not going to take it all apart. I've got photos at the end that you can see what it looks like. But what it boils down to is you can you don't even have to pull the propeller completely off. You can just slide it out a little bit. Then this part right here can be slid out just a little bit. Then the top and the bottom come off. The main portion of the engine stays in place. And... Uh, then you just replace the cowlings with these parts here. Now it helps to take this section right here with the windscreen that pops off to make everything go together. Then this pops into place, which is the rest of the engine with the uh, motor mounts, with the open um, upper cowlings. So it's got all the detail. You can see the guns and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then there is the lower cowling here, which is the radiator, I'm guessing. And there's more engine parts there. And the way it works, this part is held on with a magnet, and this part is held on with a magnet. So this just pops into place. So you have this hanging down open, so you can see the detail inside. So it's a really cool design and um, it works really well. It's not really that hard to take on and off if you want to do that. That way you can choose which way you want to display it. I will be displaying mine like this and maybe change it from time to time if people ask. The other um, aftermarket part or stuff that I used was the Quinta decals for the cockpit, which uh, came with the instrument panel decal, uh, the side panels, and the seat belts. And the reason I went with them was for a couple of reasons. Number one, they looked really good in the pictures um, that I saw of them. I've heard really good things about them. The price was really decent, uh, really good as a matter of fact. And uh, they work really well and they look the part. So if you ever get a chance to use the Quinta decals, I would definitely uh, recommend them. Now, as far as this particular aircraft, J704, um, there's a few things that uh, are not quite correct on this kit. And, I, you know, I kind of blew it and didn't really research it enough. But one thing is the rudder. The rudder and tail on um, the actual J704 the rudder was straight up 
it didn't have this angled spot so the tail came up like this straight down and then obviously the rudder came up straight as well so that was one thing that was wrong uh, another thing that's a minor thing that most people wouldn't even notice and it's almost can't see it but that is the control stick apparently the swiss like the uh, loop style like you'd see in a spitfire or something like that instead of the the joystick grip style so um, that would have been an easy fix uh, with a spare um, spitfire or similar control stick but again you know i didn't find that out till after the fact so you know, it just goes to show that research is a really good thing. Although I didn't find out a lot of this until after. You know, I did quite a bit of research, but I didn't find out about a lot of this until after I put the, the uh, most everything together. So that was kind of a bummer, but no big deal. Um, other than that, um, it's pretty good. Uh, there are some modelers have built done this color scheme with the white wingtips like most of the Swiss aircraft. But in one of the videos, uh, part four, I believe. Uh, let's see. Yeah, in part four, there uh, I inserted a photo of the aircraft. And it's pretty obvious that the wingtips, it, it's, it's a view like from this angle here, but the plane is kind of crumpled over and the wings bent because it had crashed and it did not have white wing tips and just going off the grayscale of the black and white photo it most closely matched the can the dark camo color which was rlm 71 i believe so that's what i went with then on the bottom it stated that the bottom of the wing tips were the lower fuselage color not white so that's why i painted those that color so here's another one of the quinta studios decals really good stuff um so anyway that is pretty much it um recommended yes i would if you ever get a chance to build this if you like uh bf 109s this to me a kit is a really really good one i really enjoyed building it um, just a really great kit and wanted to do something a little bit different and went with Swiss markings instead of uh, the typical German stuff. So anyway, great kit. It was a lot of fun. Enjoyed building it. Um, enjoyed the paint job. Uh, it was just the whole thing I really enjoyed. So uh, before I end this video, I want to send out another um, thanks to Eric Davenport for sending me this kit. I uh, really appreciate it, Eric. Hope you watch this video and you see this. Um, but it was a really fun kit. Really enjoyed it. And uh, I really appreciate you sending it to me. It's a lot of fun. So, here ends part number six, the final of the Tamiya 148 scale BF 109 G6. So at the end of my blabbing, there will be a short slideshow of different angles of the aircraft so you can take a look at them. So as always, thank you for watching Plastic Models by a Regular Dude. If you haven't subscribed and you uh, don't mind watching too much, you might hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button because I guess likes are good. I don't know if they are or not, but people always ask for them, so that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching Plastic Models by a Regular Dude. Until next time, I will see you all later.